All right, so now we're going to talk about the picker and the slider. So uh, first, I'm going to I got to tell you something. If I go to the documentation right here, I'm reading the documentation of the version 059. And this just happened today, I believe, or maybe yesterday, because I was uh, uh, reading the documentation the day before and it was still 58. So they just upgraded, uh, upgraded one version. And this is going to constantly uh, happen to you when you work with React Native. Now, React Native, it's kind of a, it's getting really, really popular. So they are always trying to make a better version. And, you know, it's good. It's good that they are trying to fix errors and, you know, make a better version. But every time they do it, you know, maybe something uh, works, maybe it doesn't work. So in this case, for example, if I go right now to my, maybe you're watching this in the future and you're running a different version. And that could be a problem because I'm teaching you everything I've got to do with 58. So again, just make sure right now that maybe you're running 58. Maybe you're going to watch this course. We are on March of 2019. So I'm, this is the second, I've told you before, this is the second version of the course. And I've had to upgrade this because from the version 56, I believe, to the 58, uh, a lot of changes happened. So I had to uh, kind of a re record everything, pretty much everything. Now, I've checked the documentation of the 59, uh, not a lot of changes not at all, uh, just improvements uh, with the performance and everything else. And what they did, they added React hooks. So we were using React and we uh, had no chance to use React hooks, for example. So they just upgraded the React uh, code and uh, not React Native, just React code. So I'm not going to use React uh, hooks on this course uh, because I pretty much have everything set up right here on the course. But of course, if you don't know React, React hooks, uh, you can go to the optional uh, part of this course, which, which uh, you know, it's kind of a basic introduction to React and you're going to learn about React hooks. Now, we can do pretty much everything uh, we want to without React hooks. All right. So don't worry about that. The version 59 just, you know, gets not a lot of updates. And as soon as we move forward through the versions of React Native, this is actually what's going to happen. They're just going to make minor upgrades. Uh, before, uh, you know, with the previous versions, since it, this React Native was really, really young, uh, every time they make an upgrade, it's kind of a big upgrade. But right, right now, uh, every time uh, as we move forward through the versions, you're not going to get a lot of updates, I, I, I guess. Okay, so let's go back to our thing. We need to talk about picker and the slider, all right? So for now, I'm just going to go right here at the bottom. I'm just going to comment this out. Uh, we don't really need it. So I'm going to create a new component where we're going to do all this logic. And I'm going to call it picker. We're going to do a couple of things right here, but I'm just going to call it picker. So all right, on this one, we pretty much uh, need the same logic. I just need to import. I don't need a button, I believe. Uh, maybe it's text input. Maybe we don't really need it. And of course, we need to do everything else. So I'm going to go. Up, I'm going to go and create a class called uh, Picker. All right. Just going to open and close. And of course, we need to do the render. We need to do the return, and we're going to return maybe a view with the text, just like just like we did before. So view and text, saying hello. I'm going to go at the bottom. I'm going to copy this one so I don't have to type it again. All right. I'm going to copy paste and we are pretty much done and I'm going to say export default default there we go and then picker all right I'm going to comment this out so we don't get anything from there and I'm going to go to the app and just import the picker so I'm going to go at top and you know the usual stuff so import picker from dot source src now I could just make this behind the scenes but I just want you to see everything I'm doing because sometimes on um, different courses or um, maybe not at Udemy, different courses, they just show you some content they did behind the scenes and you, sometimes it's a little bit confusing. So I just prefer to spend a little bit of time just showing you what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to go here and make a reference to Picker and we are pretty much done with this. Now, if I go to the simulator, let's see if we get no errors and okay, we get hello. That's what we want. So the picker, it's like the select on the web version. It's just like a select. So I'm going to go at the top and say, I want to bring a picker. Now, of course, this is just like a select, but it works in a different way. So it's a little bit weird. 
So I'm going to say state and I'm going to write something that says language. You could put whatever you want right here. And I'm going to say just English. You're going to see why we're going to use this in a second. So how can we use the picker? Well, first we need to, you know, use the component picker, open and close. All right. And again, this one works like a select. So the picker, it's just like doing select right here. Pretty much the same idea. So I'm going to add some styles. I'm going to first add an inline style. So I don't waste a lot of time going to the style sheet create. And I'm going to say just 100%. So if I just save this and, you know, run it, we get an error. So the picker needs the options. We just cannot do it just like this. So I'm going to go over here at the bottom and bring the options, right? So the options are picker, open and close, and then picker dot, and then item. And we can do a self-closing tag right here. So this is the way we add the options to the picker, and the item must be within capital I. Now the uh, picker item needs uh, at least two things. It needs a label, which is what's going to be rendering, it's going to render on that option. And this is like the value for a regular option. And I'm going to say Spanish. Spanish. And then the other thing is going to be the value. So the value is going to be what's, uh, what are we selecting? And again, this one is just like the value for a regular option. So I'm going to say Spanish and notice that I'm not uh, doing the capital. And I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to go right here at the bottom and this one is going to be English. And at the top as value, I'm going to pass the same English and I'm using the same notation, right? No comma case, no capital. It's pretty much the same. So if I save it and I reload the application, I get a different error because I'm pretty sure I made a mistake. So it's picker, then item. This one looks good. Picker, let's uh, see, maybe I made a mistake. Duplicate declaration of picker. All right, so. Uh, of course, I'm using picker. It should be you picker component. Just like this, component. So I'm bringing picker and I'm, you know, defining the class with the same, with the same component we are bringing at the top. That's of course going to fail. So I'm going to reload the application. Sorry for that. And we can get it. And this is the default picker we get with iOS. So I access the microphone. Why would you access the microphone? So I'm going to say, okay, whatever. So I'm going to go to emulator. I'm going to reload the application. And now for the Android, we of course get the same logic, but it's a little bit different. So I'm going to say English and English and English and that, you know, fails. So of course, this is just like a regular input inside React. We need to manage this through a property or maybe the state. So the picker takes a property called selected value. So the selected value is going to be whatever it is that you want to put. You could put a string if you want. But again, uh, in real life, if you want to make it dynamic, uh, you will need to handle it uh, through a different thing. In this case, we have a language right here. So I'm going to say this, that, uh, this, the state, and then dot, and I'm going to use the language. So notice right here, the first option, it's Spanish. So if we reload the application, of course, we get Spanish. Now we have English. So if I reload it, we are going directly to English. So it will detect what is the selected value, the default one. Now, the other important thing is, you know, how to change it. Because if I go to Spanish, it goes back to English. The selected value, it's, uh, you know, English. If I change it to Spanish, we need a way to tell the picker that now we just selected a different value. All right. So the way we get it's on value change. That's the property React Native gives us. So open and close. Now this one, it's a function. So I'm going to open the function way to do things. And just going to do this. All right. So what are we going to do? We can actually do it on the single line. So, okay, so what do we need to do? Well, by default, when you change the picker, the picker will let you know what is the value that, you know, the user is selecting. And this one is the first argument on this function. So I'm going to call it item value. Now you get an additional one, which is the item index, you know, the position, which is if it's the first one, the second one, or the third one, and so on. So in this case, I'm going to say this, that set state, I'm going to do something simple. And I'm going to say that the language uh, right now, it's equal to whatever the user is selecting. So item value. And that way we just make a controlled component. So I'm going to go Spanish, English, and that works. Same thing with Android. 
English. If I select Spanish, that works. You know, really, really simple. Okay, so let me show you a couple of things. Let me uh, just give you an example. Let's say that in your application, uh, you have a profile, the profile of the user, and you want to add uh, the date, the date of birth of the user. And of course, the user will need to go through the day, through the month, and through the year. So uh, by default, if let's see, if I'm not going to do it. It's, it's pretty simple to understand. You get a real, uh, you get a component, dedicated component for the date picker, and this happens on iOS. So you bring the date picker at the top, and this, you know, this is the way it works. You just include the date picker, the date, and the on date change. Works pretty much the same. And what you get, you get the default date picker for iOS. Now for Android you don't get anything. You don't get it. You will need to go this way to create three different pickers. You know, like you would do with a select on web. You do the day, select for the day, select for the month, select for the year. So that's the way it works. You get away, but not on a component. So let me show you. Right here, we get the dedicated components from React Native. As we go at the top, we get APIs and we get a date picker Android. And it's a little bit weird, you know. Tried it, didn't really like it, and, and ended up using the pickers. So, you know, there, there you go. Uh, I wouldn't use this one as well. I just go prefer much, uh, much prefer to the picker. And if I want to do an iOS, I will just create a rule to, to, to target different platforms. Uh, we, we are going to talk about that later. All right. Okay. So I want to talk about something else called slider. So let's go to the next one and do the slider.